How you do, but and this is how we make 3D text in Cinema 4D. Um, and this is one of, like probably the most easiest thing and the most basic thing you can do in Cinema 4D. Um, I'm I'm not gonna tell you how to get like Cinema f uh, like 4D for free, because I mean it's not that hard to find, you know. Um, but anyway, let's get on to the tutorial. First, what thing you wanna do is you wanna um, click and hold this square here and go over to Plan. And just that go to the click and change this 400 down here to load the noise both of them actually high and width and once you do that you know, what this is for so you can see the the black the show you now the black and the thingy alright anyway um, the only thing you want to do is you want to click and hold the string here and click text and then what you want to do is click and hold this green box and click extrude nerves and um, then what you want to do is just drag this until the arrow is pointing down and let go and then as you see we pretty much have 3d text but it's not really epic yet but anyway so then down here you see you can change your text i'm going to change it to dj poly d and um, you can also change the font um, i think because i think like custom fonts that you download off like the font and whatnot are in here as well. I don't know I wouldn't know because I haven't downloaded any fonts yet. Um I'm gonna go find the font here. Um Do you know what? Is there I don't know, there it is. Alright, um so now once you have the font you want, as you see the text might be a bit big. So down here where it says height you can just change this to whatever you want and then it'll go to size. I'm just gonna make it 130. Um once you do that, um you pretty much already have 3D text but it's just gonna have one colour so it's not gonna look good. So then what you wanna do is just click extrude nerves there. Um and where it says movement and where it says twenty centimeters change that to eighty. Um, then go into caps and change both these caps to fillet caps. Then just press C and V to copy and paste. And now we see we have a shoot nervous one. In here, you want to change the radius on both on both these caps to ten. And then go back into object and change the movement to forty. And then what you want to do is go to the side, and then you see one big bit and one uh, small bit like this. Um, usually you would have to put the big bit in so here we go you just click this arrow here and drag it in like so and what that does is now you can have two colors outline and inline um, I am actually going to make the outline a bit f um, larger here and so make it 60 did I make it 60? no alright and that's now what you want to do now is if you, then like this for colors you just click double click down here and then click again. Now we see here we have material editor. This is color, so um, I'm going to give it a black outline. And you can also add a reflection if you want to reflection. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to give reflection a 50%. And you can give it glow as well, but I'm not going to do that. So once you've got your material all set up, just X and then drag it on to the outline or inline, this is going to be my outline and there we see we have an outline now and now if you want to just, yeah I'm just going to make a new material for my inline so color is going to be turquoise um, I'm going to get the reflection 50 uh, that's it drag that onto the other extrude nerves and now we see we have this uh, hold on I'm just gonna actually add a glow to this okay there we go now you see when we go into render you see the outline has a bit of glow on it um, and that's pretty much it you have 3D text and of course I can look at the back but um, so yeah um, now, <clears throat> um, this is just really basic, but usually when I make 3D text, I put lights on. So, what you want to do, left click this light thing up here and click on light. Now we have a light. Um, 
I usually don't do much with lights, but for this I'm just gonna um, put it above the D over here. To move, by the way, if you never used Cinema 4D before, it's these things up here. Um, I'm gonna move it up a lot. No, no. Alright, and now you see when we render, there's a light, but kind of it makes the black look retarded. That's why I'm gonna change it. So you can just click on the light up here in the top right, and you can change the color of it, or um, you can change the actual glow. As you see, we have some default things: a star, um, purple, flashlight, sun, grey, and um, with artifact. I'm gonna try out artifact because I usually always do this. All right, that looks okay, but the tree ruined the black, so I'm just gonna go ahead and change the color now too black actually to see how that looks it probably looks really horrible yeah I, I thought it would look like that um all right well I guess that's just gonna have to do me so once you've got um your text and here I'm actually gonna take just a screenshot of it but um this video is kind of do an intro just to get 3d text so so once you got this bring it out there Alright, and then you click render and then you can take your screenshot. But I'm actually gonna move out a bit more so you can see the light up there. Okay, a bit more. Right, there we go. Now you see we have DJ Poly D. Um but many people say, Oh well the ground's a bit plain, you can also add a material to the ground. So for this I'm gonna add a nice grey colour actually, um reflection of a hundred glow zero, All right? And it's dragged onto plane there. Now you see my render has a nice sexy grey colour. Um and you can barely see the D over there. Don't know what's happening. I'm just gonna move the light a bit over there. And there we go. Now once you have that ready, I'm gonna just sorry for this long preparation to get the screenshot. Um alright here we go. Now we can see the light, we can see the text, I'm gonna go ahead and screenshot that. And that is how you do 3D text. And um, thanks for watching. Um Yeah, tune in next time for whatever next video I'll go.